Question two, we've got the uh, trigonometry thing going on here. Um, the acute angle A is such that turn A equals two. Now, it's all right, Martin. So hello to the video. Um, that, that means that there, there exists some right angle triangle where the opposite over the adjacent is equal to two, because that's what turn is. And any right angle triangle where that is true would be would be that angle, wouldn't it? So the opposite could be four and the adjacent could be two, that would give you that angle. The opposite could be seven and the adjacent could be fourteen, that would give you that's the wrong way around, isn't it? The opposite could be seven and the adjacent could be three and a half, and that would give you that angle. All we need, there's the angle A, there's the right angle triangle, the opposite of the adjacent is two. Well, my my angle is hope, my triangle is hopelessly out of proportion, but the simplest way of doing this is if that's two and that's one, that gives us the tangent of that angle would be two, wouldn't it? If that's two and that's one, then by Pythagoras theorem, this side is root five. Because it's two squared plus one squared, square rooted. So that'd be four plus one would be five, square root of five. So that's the triangle in which there is an acute angle A such that tan A is equal to 2. In that case, sine A, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse, is 2 over root 5. And if sine A is 2 over root 5, then cosec A is root 5 over 2. And that that, that would be brilliant, that's what we want from that. Uh, part two. Right, hang on then. Um, the angle B is such that tan A plus B is equal to 3. Using an appropriate identity, so they want us to use the identity. We've got the formula booklet, and this identity is in the formula booklet. Tan A plus B is equal to tan A, that's an A, plus tan B divided by 1 minus tan A, tan B. Remember? That's there in the formula booklet, um, along with the sine A plus B and cos A plus B. So um, we just need to fill in the gaps with this. We know what tan A plus B is, we know what tan A is. So we've now got that this is 3, because it just told us that, up, up there. Um, tan A is 2, so that's 2 plus tan B over 1 minus twice tan B. And we've ended up with actually quite a simple linear equation in terms of tan B. If we multiply both sides by that denominator, we've got 3 minus 6 tan B is 2 plus tan B. Is that okay? I've taken that side up to the other side times by the 3. Collect like terms. Let's get all the tan Bs on the right. We've got, I think we've got 1 there, haven't we? Equals 7 tan B. That, that's meant to be a 7 there. And so tan B is 1 over 7. That's that. That is, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? Because that was, we had how many marks there? Five marks. And actually, that's easy, isn't it? But it's only easy if you can spot how to get into it. And, and if you just sit there and look at <coughs> tan A equals 2. Oh, right, I'm going to do that inverse, inverse tan of 2 on the calculator and see if that helps me. But that's, that's not a good start point. But, you're now in all kinds of trouble to recover from that. So yeah, use the identities to help you not going straight to the calculator.